she was beautiful, right? But you know, everyone's like, oh, you should, you shouldn't, you know, you know, fuck that. To tell me that, uh, you know, uh, you know, just because I like their stuff and whatnot, mean that I shouldn't use it. It's the same thing. You know, <laughs> my biggest thing is don't come around me and try and change the way I live my life. Yeah, for and, the last thirty years. <laughs> well, everyone, everyone's like that. Like, I'm pretty sure if I would, like, if I was allowed to try to change it their the way they live, yeah. There, oh, you and being a communist government, I would be shot. Yes. Yes. So that, that uh, almost hundred percent. Yeah. So, and if we did in their countries what they do here. It execution style, right there on the spot. There's no if ands or buts about it. Especially the East Indians. If we went there and tried to build a church on their land, we'd get shot in the head. Uh, you're talking like, in, oh wait, India, India. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, the, uh, actually one of the things I'm usually against is uh, the church. And uh, just, I don't like when they uh, build churches over there. Uh, for one reason, is because whenever you introduce a new religion into a foreign body, you're always going to get violence to each other. And, you know, yeah. you know Islam and Christianity, Christianity and Hinduism, uh, Islam and Hinduism, whatever, they, they all love fighting each other. Positive influence on their life, you know, like my grandmother, for example. For example, you know, like you watch a movie, someone goes into a home with like a picture of Jesus on the wall, and there's a creepy vibe going on. Like, but in real life, you know, you go into your grandma's home, and you see a picture of Jesus. You know, it's like I don't know, just like that's just it, 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 it's just you know, it's just yeah. grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, he's not anti-religious. I generally am. <laughs> I'm not militant. No, no, because uh, you know. Uh, you know, uh, books don't make good weapons, sadly. Oh, so you're more of a realist. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm one of those people where I tell you, if you can't, like, if well, you don't you know, know, if you can't show it, you don't know you it. You know, I, like, I, 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 pr I personally think a lot of, uh, like, just, uh, like, um, the, the dictionary, like, I think uh, a lot of religious people uh, don't know how to argue because they keep trying to find this evidence or this proof. But where, whereas the dictionary definition of faith is believing in something more on a spiritual basis than without evidence, and the idea that there's absolute proof out there kind of defeats the purpose of that. Well, so it's like ultimately you can't prove or disprove the existence of an omnipotent being or whatever. So it's like it's, and you know, it's you can't confirm or deny you know, well, where that where, where you know yeah, how. Yeah, the, the Bible's changed. I don't know how many. Oh yeah, I, uh, I, I'm a, I have to say amateur theologian because uh, I've never really went to uh, school to study. I've studied there on my own accord, and it's just one of those things where uh, I, I can point out the edits like, uh, fuck, the the writings of Peter, who 
when, when you read them, it's like, oh, well, Peter's met Jesus, obviously. Well, actually, we have a writing from 8th century where Peter actually explicitly mentions he never met Jesus. But those were slowly edited out by the Catholic Church. Yeah. And by the, the 1200s, all references to uh, Peter meeting Jesus were edited in. And uh, same thing with Tacitus. Yeah. Oh, people like to cite him as a credible third source, when in reality, we know that's a forgery. But, again, that's also because well, I'm a historian. Yeah. I so. mean, the one guy that I worked with, the only thing he ever made sense because he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> and, like, I, I think he's just probably the worst head, like, head craftsman I ever had to deal with. Mm -hmm. But, only thing I agree with this guy on is he won't talk religion or politics because nobody wins. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is never an end. Uh, nobody is right. Politics ever. is good. You know, there was a time where I thought politics was getting better, where people were starting to learn. <laughs> uh, PC culture and the alt-right have destroyed any notion I have left. The American election was the biggest sham ever. They had one strong candidate, I feel like, Sanders. I, I feel like things have gotten and worse. And he didn't get shit. Yeah. I feel like things have gotten worse since the 90s. I, I don't know, like, I honestly feel like, I don't know. Hey, we got a hippie prime minister. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what, and I didn't vote for him. I heard one. You know, that, I keep forgetting. That's right. We, yeah. We're in Canada. That's right. I, <laughs> that's in, a different story here. <laughs> I'm in family court a lot. For my kids or whatever. 